Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is actually a surprise upload. I am doing a review for the Machino and Sephora eyeshadow palette. Um, there was a lot of controversy over this thing. The release date was actually supposed to be August 11th. A lot of people waited all day and all night in order only to be told that it wasn't going to release until the 18th. Um, they did a lot of promos saying that we would release on the 11th, so I don't really appreciate that. But regardless, I was able to get mine, so it is what it is. Now, this is actually a limited edition collection. Okay, they do have several different pieces. Um, they have the eyeshadow palette, which I believe is 48. Um, they have a lip gloss chain, comes with, I believe, six different lip glosses. They are minis. Um, they have a brush set for $58, they have a highlighter, they have a, uh, a bare eye mask, and a um, Machino shopping bag mini palette. Um, now, I did only pick up the eyeshadow palette, so this is what we're going to be reviewing today. Um, I will say, when I got this, it did come in this box. The packaging on this is so stinking cute. Uh, they do get a A plus for packaging. Now, one of my um, concerns is if it was going to actually stand up by itself or not, and I will say that it does. You can set this on your vanity, you can set it on a shelf, and it's going to set up completely by itself. That is so exciting because I really want to set this on my shelf um, for whenever I am not using it. So that is a plus. So, so if you were curious about that, it does stand up by itself. Um, one of the packaging flaws that I do not like, however, when you open it up, um, this does not stay upright because this side is much heavier than this side. So it does fall. You cannot get it to stand up. So the way that you have to use this is either two ways. You can either set this on your vanity or you're going to have to hold it here in the middle and prop up that mirror with your hands and hold this. But it is quite large once you open it up so that is actually not how I'm going to be able to use it I am going to have to sit it on my vanity desk and use it that way um, now it does give you a really nice mirror um, it does say Moschino and Sephora on the mirror I'm not going to show you that just because I, I do not want to blind you um, the colors on this are absolutely gorgeous so um, I was debating doing live swatches but because I am so pressed for time and I do want to get this video up um, I am not going to be doing live swatches I did do previous swatches already so I'm going to go ahead and insert those now okay so along with that I'm actually going to give you a close-up all right so these are the swatches they swatched really nicely this is only a one finger swatch I did not have to go in more than once so now that you have your swatches now that I was able to show you up close I do want to give you my quick thoughts um, for those of you who are wondering if there is kick up, the kick up is very minimal. I did not have a lot of trouble. I didn't have to sit there after every use and blow my palette off. So that is a plus. Um, the color payoff is amazing. I could not believe, okay, that the color payoff was this good. I was so concerned that with the packaging being so cute and so much controversy around this palette and the release date and everything else that this just is not going to work for me and I was gonna have to return it, but I'm not. I'm gonna be able to keep this and I'm going to be able to use every single color. Um, I did use um, quite a few of them. I did several looks before I made this video just because I wanted to make sure that a lot of colors were consistent on the eyes um, aside from doing the swatches and I will say that they are. Um, the pigmentation once you get it on your eyes is amazing. You do not have to go in heavy-handed. Um, you can actually just swirl your, brown, swirl your brush around only once or twice and get enough color to do what you want to do on your eyes. It is buildable. Um, so that is a plus. Um, it does definitely has a base color. It has some um, crease colors. It has um, it has your black if you need that in your palette. This um, Angel Wings is a beautiful highlight. Okay, so I do have that actually on my brow bone today, um, and it was absolutely stunning. These were so easy to work with. So if you are 
concerned about anything in this palette I would say the only negative thing that I really have to say about this is the weight of the top versus the bottom other than that I think everything else is totally worth it if you can snag this I think go for it absolutely go for it because it is highly limited edition um, it did sell out extremely fast so, um, I hope that I covered all the bases. If I didn't, please um, go to my Instagram. I do have a picture of this up. You can ask me anything that you want, and I will reply as fast as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate this. I hope I was able to help you in your decision, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.